Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to version 6.01. A uh, very interesting little version, but we're going to jump into this in a second. First of all, check it out. It is my 322nd day, 150 V-Bucks coming my way, which is very good, because as a lot of you guys saw, I did spend uh, 2,800 V-Bucks, and... Uh, wasn't really that that great at what I got. Well, actually, uh, no, it wasn't great. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten at least one of those Lama Seagull Gold. But we've got available right now in the store. Uh, well, that's the thing. I don't know what happened here. Usually we have had, you know, the coming soon and everything. Um, I don't know why not only has the update got, come and gone, everything, you know, it's whatever, but we don't have anything coming soon yet. Maybe sometime this morning it's going to show up uh, for us in our store, you know, in, in Save the World store. But uh, right now I'm kind of just surprised that there's nothing there. Not exactly sure what's happening or if they're why they're not update, updating this anymore. That it's kind of it's a little weird, but uh, I'm not going to let it concern me. Hopefully we're just, you know, going to push through. Let's talk about the version 6.01 patch notes. Now, you might see right there something that we know and some of us enjoy using which is the freeze pad um <sighs> okay so it says stay frosty a cool trap debuts in battle royale and pummel those husks with a new weapon and save the world uh i'm kind of starting to understand the theme of version 6 actually Play playground custom optimization for battle royale they of course have the freeze trap <coughs> uh and here we go our first thing lead sled hammer save the world knock those husks into the ground with this new weapon so remember how the other one uh the rat attack was called rat rod um i feel like this is like a hot rod theme this is kind of like a, it's really interesting actually though these weapons are very interesting they all have kind of like the whole it, it's not like a cyberpunk thing it's kind of like a futuristic um motorized kind of thing so like flintlock you know it had like the, the the flint you know like the from the old weapons you know you got the flint you know charge boom these look like they are made out of engines <laughs> they're made they look like they're made out of engines which actually if you want to think about it smacking a husk with an engine which would be a very very smart thing to do i don't know if you could pick up an engine but yeah it would be a really smart thing to do that thing would be heavy um so as you can see this one you know it's got a it, that kind of looks like it's uh that looks like it's a motorcycle actually that looks like it got taken off a motorcycle the cylinders and everything uh you've got exhaust pipes you've got a little mirror hanging off it you even have a, a little hurt on it um i i don't know i i kind of think this may be i'm kind of almost feeling like this might be a constructor heavy season or version um these are weapons more you know suited for constructors and i'm not saying uh, you know i'm not denying I, it would be nice to see something else <laughs> you know last season was very um there were a lot of outlanders you know i've been waiting for a ninja heavy season but maybe a constructor one you know you never know it, it it looks interesting it looks interesting all right so uh knock the husks into the ground with this new weapon and known issues of course if you want to find known issues go to the trello board we're gonna skip all over the battle royale stuff because you guys know i don't really talk about the battle royale stuff but we're gonna jump into save the world news heroes fix an issue where keep out damage was smaller than intended now first thing one thing i do want to say though uh i was wrong i thought we were gonna get a hero I thought we were going to get new weapon, new hero, new weapon, new hero, new weapon, new hero. But we got weapon, weapon. So interesting. I I'm just saying, interesting. Uh, save the world. Heroes, fix an issue where keep outs damage was area was smaller than intended. Weapons and items. Lead sled hammer added to the weekly store. A fast swinging hammer that gains speed with each hit. That sounds very cool because... One of the biggest reasons why we don't use these hammers is because they are so slow. I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen there. Leap attack. Heavy attack that jumps to the targeted foe and damages and knocks down nearby enemies. So that kind of sounds like the walloper. Uh, so this sounds like maybe it's going to be a... 
I'm guessing it's not going to have as much damage as the Walloper, because that thing, goodness gracious, that thing is destructive, man. Um, yeah, interesting. I mean, if it has really high knockback, why not? Can you imagine just swinging really fast and knocking everyone back? That would be cool, actually. Available Wednesday, October 3rd until Wednesday, October 10th. Obliterator sniper rifle added to the weekly store. So that is our first piece of kind of real news here. Um, well, not real news, but things that a lot of people have been really, really wondering about. Um, so the Obliterator is back in the store. If you guys don't know what the Obliterator is, this is the Obliterator right here. So the Obliterator is really, really interesting weapon. Honestly, uh, if you guys want to see, I always keep one in my backpack, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so I always keep one in my backpack right there. And the one that I keep is still at level 82. I haven't really leveled it up at all. The reason why I haven't leveled it up is because the Obliterator is purely, at least what I use it for, purely for clearing maps. If you're in the city map and you want to just clear a bunch of buildings out, you use it for that. Uh, it definitely destroys buildings really, really well. It goes through buildings. Yes, if you, I've seen some people level theirs up considerably and change the perks a little bit and yeah once you get the the faster reload and everything it can definitely be you know for taking out some husks in a single headshot um for example a lot of the mist monsters um so yeah it, it it definitely has that potential for me personally like i said it's not one that i would you know focus on too much but again because of right now it doesn't seem like we have changed cram session it definitely is one worth um i think it's one worth getting uh, like i said because we haven't changed cram session uh we're apparently going to have a lot more gold again so um a blitter sniper added to the weekly store a slow firing sniper rifle with high base damage and heavy kick shots pierce through walls and husks light and quick quickly obliterate structures available wednesday 3rd till uh, wednesday october 10th so like i said again definitely 100 million percent you gotta get it uh bug fixes fixed an issue where the wallop hammer sometimes wouldn't do damage while using the leap attack fixed an issue that could cause a hitch while using the leap, leap attack with the wallop hammer elemental visual effects on weapons are now hidden along with your character when the camera is too close to you oh okay all right um that means whenever you like you have your back really close to a wall and you and your weapon disappear Yeah, it was that, right? Yeah, it was that. It, it was that you could still see like the like the element. I, I used to see it a lot with my uh, zap zap. Uh, when you got really close, all you could see was a little lightning from the inside the zap zap. Um, I never really thought it was too bad, but I get it. I understand why they would do it. You know, make it more clean. So yeah, so that's that's that for that. All right, so um, let's talk a little bit about what we didn't get and what they didn't talk about at all. Uh, I've been waiting a little bit to see if there was any more information anywhere. Um, how do I see this? Okay. So, oh, you know what? I haven't checked yet. I haven't checked if we have any new side quests. You never know. Sometimes they slide some in there. Uh, grasping the straws, no, bring it, no, blast from the past, no, okay. All right, so nothing there. Uh, cram session, I still have, okay, I'm still there on, on, on level eight. Um, okay, okay, okay. So nothing else here, nothing else new, nothing else. All right. I was hoping that we were going to see a new Fort Nightmares event. I was hoping we were going to see something else right now. I understand why we only have Cram Session. I get it. I get why Cram Session is, is still here and it's the only thing we have right now. It doesn't make it any better though. Uh, two major things that I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of like still wondering about. And the first one is definitely going to be the developer's update or a developer's roadmap. Why haven't we had one yet? It has been 
almost two months now, we're really close to two months now, since we had any developer roadmaps or any kind of information from the developers on what is going on. The developer roadmap were really awesome because, you know, we could kind of see, okay, so it's really cool. We kind of know what to expect in the future. Right now, as as exciting as it may, may be that we don't know anything that's coming or what's happening, it would be nice to at least know the theme of this of this season um, or this version. As we saw there, uh, it looks like we do have a, like you can see there, the rat tat which is also called the Rat Rod, and the new Lead Sled Hammer. Definitely, we are looking at a some sort of, you know, like, 50s, um, like I said, Mad Max kind of thing, you know, where you have a lot of weaponry and a lot of stuff that is made off of like rusted metal. Like you can see the lead slide hammer is kind of like, you know, rusted metal, um, as well as the rat tat, rat Same thing. It looks, you know, all rusted metal y, but it looks like they use it from pieces of a, uh, like you look, see, like an engine parts and everything. The um, that's really cool, actually. That thing right there is, looks like a little key, you know, got stuck in there for the, for the for the shooting back. Uh, even the even the the scope or whatever you want to call it, it's uh, it looks like it's a hood ornament, you know. So yeah, definitely, it looks like a look at that. It's look, it's got a key in the in the back. Uh, everything looks like little engine part thingies. Very cool. <coughs> Very different. So, Hot Rod is the theme, maybe? Something like that, which also would make sense if we get husks that are going to be like that. Or something that I'm kind of confused about. How do these weapons fit into a Halloween theme? I, I don't think they, don't, they do. But I don't know, maybe they do. Maybe the theme of this Halloween is going to be, I don't know, like car parts or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of just very confused about this. They're cool looking weapons regardless. I am excited to see what this hammer can do. That will be coming out tonight, actually. So, am I disappointed that we haven't had any uh, Fortnite bears? A little bit, to be perfectly honest, guys. Like I said, what I'm most disappointed on is the fact that we have had no communication. That's what's kind of disappointing me. What's kind of getting to me, what's kind of like, uh, you know, like bringing me down is that we have had no developer update. We've had no, even the previous postmortem, I thought they were going to do a much more intricate one. They never did it. Um, we haven't had a developer's, you know, roadmap, anything like that, or, or a vlog, you know, uh, a development vlog. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to see very soon. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been Fortnite Save the World. Talking about that uh, version 6.01 update. Version 6.1, 6.01 patch. Yeah, it's not even a content update, was it? No, it wasn't a content update. It was a, um, it was a client update. Well, hopefully we get uh, some more information soon. Thanks a lot, guys. And... Another week of cram session. Let's get to it. <laughs> See ya.